I'll begin by placing constitutional implementation in Fiji in the context of global experience. More than half the constitutions of the world have been remade over the past two decades or so, and there's plenty of opportunity to examine how others have met the challenges of putting a new constitution into effect. The many historical and well-established examples include South Africa, which has been a model for the world in constitution making. But there are also others in which the constitution has put in place more recently and which therefore are going through an implementation phase at the moment. These include Kenya, Zimbabwe and Tunisia, in all of which implementation is further advanced than in Fiji, at least if measured by the passage of time. But they also include Nepal, where a new constitution has only just been promulgated and implementation has barely begun. Most of my remarks will be directed to the implementation of the constitution here. My aim is to provide a framework for analysing progress with implementation in Fiji. And I'm aware of my own limitations in speaking to you on this subject. Those who live with a constitution are more likely to have a better innate understanding of how implementation is going than anyone who comes in from outside. Constitutional implementation covers the period of years immediately after a new constitution is made. It's typically treated as the final phase of a constitution-making process, although in reality a further process of transition goes on long after any formal phase of implementation is ended. In recent years, the implementation phase has begun to receive increased attention. 